And we are here right now at a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It's called Fauerninsel, Peacock Island. It's part of uh, castles and parks of Berlin Potsdam. And as you see, we use this spot to make a big picnic. <laughs> and let's see what the others are thinking of this island. And anyways, where are the peacocks? We don't know. Hey Merve. Hi. What do you like Because about this island? Or today? Hey, can, today? It's sunny. It's my first sunny Sunday in Berlin. And we're doing a picnic with my new friend and my old friend. <laughs> hey Aziz. What do you like here? To be here? I love the sun. I love the country. I love the country. I love the country. And I'm Okay, cool. <laughs> Debbie, how do you like the peacocks? There are no peacocks yet. Where are the peacocks? You promised me peacocks. <laughs> Where are the peacocks? We find them. So this behind me is Museum Island. There you can see one, it's the Buddha Museum. It's a complex of five museums here on an island in the center of Berlin. And it's five different museums with different concepts, different collections and exhibitions. And they all come together um, here in this place. And this one behind me is actually my working place. So I spend a lot of time here almost every day. Hi, I'm Costa and I'm in front of the Le Corbusier house in Stuttgart. It's part of the Weißenhof Siedlung and it is part of a UNESCO World Heritage which is transnational and that means that it's part of a collection of works of Le Corbusier which are in various countries which are a transnational UNESCO World Heritage. My name is Vera and we are going to have a look at the Cathedral of Hildesheim. This is the first time for me as well. So we will have a look at the Cathedral and the beautiful Rose Garden. And there is also a Rose Route through Hildesheim which shows you all the UNESCO heritage sites. Uh, we can't talk inside of the Cathedral so I will show you a quick look around. And we also going to visit the 1,000 year old rose in the garden of the cathedral. Hi, I'm Pilat and I'm standing here in Cologne next to this nice Gothic cathedral, the Kölner Dom. Its construction period took over 700 years and then in the 19th century, when it was finished actually, it represented the unification for many parties and still today it's, it's become a symbol of Germany and this unification of it. As Weimar is surrounded by heritage sites, I would welcome you in the courtyard of the palace. Let's have a look. It was a period when a lot of famous people were in Weimar. One of them was the Princess Anna Amalia. She was one of the first women who collected a lot of books and provided them to the public. Sometimes living in Weimar is like being part of a journey to the past. Look at this house, it's also yellow and its former owner was Johann Wolfgang von Goethe. So today I am in Würzburg at the residence and it was built in 1720-1744. 
This is one of Europe's most impressive Baroque castles and it only took about 20 years to build the entire thing. Inside the residence there is an art gallery which you can visit, also a church and next to it this beautiful huge garden. So this is the residence from the other side. It was the home of the Prince Bishop till 1802 and it became UNESCO World Heritage in 1981. Moin Moin and welcome to Bremen. Our World Heritage Site consists of two parts. The City Hall right behind me and the statue of the Roland, which was set up as a symbol of liberty and freedom against the oppression of the church. Welcome to Essen Ruhrgebiet. Uh, it's a an area here in Germany that was founded on industry and it's a huge area with 16 million people living in and just behind me is the Zollverein where they used to mine for coal back in the day and now it's a world heritage site with a lot of culture, museum, cultural festivals going on. It's a really cool place. now, which is the state capital of Saxony, which is in East Germany. In the back you can see the Dresden Elbe Valley, which is a former cultural heritage. I said former because in 2009 the Cultural Heritage Committee decided to revoke the status because of a bridge, which you can't see now. They are doing barbecue, playing soccer, listening to music and just hang out with friends. hometown Bamberg. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site because it has the typical layout and architecture of a medieval European town. And it is a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1993. So we are both celebrating our 25th birthday this year. This is the old town hall. And one of my favorite spots in the city is this bridge down there where all the students are sitting in summer. This forest is part of the World Heritage Site called Ancient and Primeval Beach Forest in the Carpathians and other regions of Europe. Forests in 12 countries belong to this site, such as Slovakia and Ukraine, and since 2017, nine other countries from Europe. In Germany, we have five different forests belonging to this site. Here, I am in Grumsin, which is only in one hour drive far from Berlin. Hi, my name is Hilke. After my pretty umbrella, you can see the Cathedral of Speyer, which is also known as the Imperial Cathedral Basilica of the Assumption and St. Stephen. It is 134 meters long and over 80 meters high. So it's so big, it always makes me feel at home. When I moved here, I'm living 400 kilometers away from my home, but this cathedral always makes me feel at home. Here I have you I show you something. This is actually a castle. This is not a real real castle. Friedrich the Great was doing it for uh, as a ruin and he enjoyed his summertime with his Wilhelmine. That's it. Hey guys, we found a peacock. Let's check it out. <laughs> 